Hello. <clears throat> I'm gonna wait for some people, and you guys can ask me anything you want. This is, uh, I just finished lunch, so this is my break time doing nothing. If you wanted it eye level, you guys are eye level. Okay, you're on top of a peanut butter jar. Um, I still have the stand, but it's on top of a peanut butter jar. And I'm gonna look for your comments on YouTube. Hey there, Heather. Heather, how are you doing? Oh, wow, a lot of people. Hey there. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. Uh, it's Anyang Haseo. Um, let me see. I gotta look for this video now on and see if I can type it in the chat, maybe. How are you guys doing today? Let's chat feature. Do you like my title? Uh, how do you spell? I can write the uh, English and the Korean if I can figure out the keyboard. Whoop. Okay. Good. Uh, I think that's right. Onion. Mm -hmm. Something like that. Ha se yo. Something like that, maybe that's the English version. Let's, let's just go to Papa Go and I'll write it for you. Um, Heather says, doing great. Uh, and you? Uh, I'm doing good. Today I have water. I just had coffee. Feeling great. Um, if you guys haven't played this, um, sometimes we can't play this because we, we need the bigger version. We had like 30 students, so I couldn't play it. Um, Werewolf is an awesome game, um, but it does this one doesn't have enough villagers. So you need like the deluxe edition, which I have at home, but I don't want to bring in because the students, this I got, the, stu the school bought this. Um, the students usually bend the cards and I want to keep my cards nice. That you can play up to 75 people. This one is 30 people, but there's too many werewolves in this one, I think. You only need about maybe three or four for a group of 30 people. Uh, let's see. Okay. Uh, no, I don't want Japanese, Korean. Okay. It's still in Japanese. Why is it still in Japanese? Okay. I'm going to type it here. So, yeah. Annyeong haseyo. Uh, it's 10 in the night stateside. Yeah, that's good. That's, uh, it's 1223, uh, PM here. So it's a little after lunchtime. How does the camera, do you like it right now? Um, you guys are, if you haven't seen it, I think there was only two people here. You guys are on top of a Jif peanut butter jar. So now you can see my face better maybe instead of being down here. So, yeah, so now it looks more like a camera. This is uh, still my phone. Uh, you guys can ask me anything you want, okay? There are no topics today. Uh, I do have a list that I might go through if uh, you wanna go through that, but maybe a little later. Looking for something challenging for either 3DS or we any ideas? I think I think it's called Etrion, Etrion or Etrion. I think it's Etrion. Um, those games. There's like I think five or six for the D 3DS. Those games are tough. If you want a hard game, get those games. Those games are tough. Um, let's see. Ooh, there's a lot of chat. Okay, let's see here. Wow, you're in South Korea. Yeah, I'm in Korea. Um, I've been here for almost three years. In March, it'll be three, or February, February it'll be three years. Um, red, heart. Okay, oh, heart you too, thank you. Um, how are you? I'm good. 
Uh, how are you doing, Lily? And let's see what we got. Have you played Danganronpa, Nonary games? The Nonary games I played, I think, I finished one. Um, I, I don't know. Those games, they're okay. I think Danganronpa is a lot better of a series. Danganronpa is really good. Um, AI, Somnia Files, they're, they're, that's a really good game. Um, there are some questionable things the characters say in it that I thought were um, a little strange. Uh, but the game's not bad. That's a good game. Uh, it's They're all like kind of visual novel. I didn't know Danganronpa was a visual novel until I played more in visual novel games, and people said they're visual novel games. But the thing with Danganronpa is there's actual gameplay to the game and the class trials. There's a lot of gameplay to that more than um, most visual novel games. What I consider more of a visual novel game is just reading text or like not a lot of gameplay and it's only that. I would consider Danganronpa more of like a murder mystery game than a visual novel. But it is... Technically, it probably is a visual novel. Um, I'm okay. I can't focus. Why, why can't you focus, Lily? Yeah. Oh. Uh, cool, man. Yeah, I like Danganronpa a lot. So much fun. Okay. Uh, please expand on the criticisms of... Yeah, I, I don't want to expand on it. If you've seen my review, watch my review on that. Um, I think I go over it a little bit in my review more, in more detail. I don't want to talk about that game right now. That game, uh, what is this? Uh, why else? Why else can't you focus? Um, okay. Yeah, I reviewed it. Uh, not a lot of people watch my reviews, which I think it's because of the notifications thing. I'm actually going to go. So, I'm going to surprise because I saw that they're live. Ooh. Left on Red's live also. Uh, Left on Red, do you know Raka Raka? Raka Raka, they do these, they used to do these videos with like uh, Ronald McDonald and all this stuff. They started a new YouTube channel because they weren't making any money on their old channel because they they have such high quality on their videos. Like they're in such high quality and it looks like something like a movie, sometimes like a movie, um, small indie movie company would have made. And they put all this money and effort into it but then YouTube demonetized all of them, all their videos. Uh, because they're too bloody there's too much violence, there's too much swearing, too much everything. So they demonetized them, so they made a, a new channel where they upload every day. Right now they have a answering all comments until YouTube stops us <laughs> live stream, which that's cool, I like that. I like that idea. Um, yeah, I like I like them a lot. Raka Raka is a really good group, but their new channel is called Left on Red. They got 80,000 subscribers in like a month so that's really good I can't get 80,000 subscribers in a month because I'm not that I'm not that interesting um, let's see here let's see oh you have ADHD I think I have a little bit of ADHD but um, I've been controlling it more um, I've never been diagnosed though so I don't know if I have it or not someone said they think I have it because I have a hard time focusing sometimes. Um, a lot in school, I had a lot of hard times with that. Are you looking? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, I have a lot of time, a lot of trouble with it lately. Yeah. Oh, you have severe ADHD. Are you looking forward to Tales of Arise? Actually, that game looked really good. Uh, from the gameplay I saw and from the trailers I saw, I really thought that game looked good. Uh, what? Can't focus off my medicine. Yeah, I wish I had medicine back in the day. That's the problem with school. Like, I did really well, but in the classes I didn't do well in, I was bored. So I think it had a problem. It's probably ADHD. And if you have medicine, it helps you focus. So I probably needed that, but I never got the attention 
like that in uh, school. But I did really, I did really well in school. I didn't do bad. I did uh, very good. I'm that hyper and unfocused. Oh, it's okay. I think everyone, almost everyone has a, a little bit of ADHD. You're, you're okay. How's life in Korea? Korea is good. Um, I don't plan on leaving. The only problem is uh, it's very dusty, manji. Uh, it's very dusty and sometimes, uh, like today, it's at, uh, level is at 157. If it's above 100, that's bad. You should wear a mask outside. Uh, where's my mask? Um, but yeah, I have a mask today that I lost apparently. <laughs> um, yeah, it's very dusty these days and because it's not as windy, which today it's actually windy. So maybe the dust will move away and go somewhere else. It never goes to Japan. So you have China up here, it's very big. And then you have Korea here. So sometimes th that's part of the problem is dust from China comes from China. It blows in. And then it blows south. Japan is over here, like over here. South Korea is like here. Japan's up here. They're never going to get hit by that. But Japan gets hit by typhoons a lot. And earthquakes. So, But I would probably rather be in Japan for dust reasons, like uh, because it's not as dusty, than Korea. But they have problems too. Everywhere has problems. Um... And you can't blame it all on China. All Koreans blame China usually, but it's not all China. Every country has been kind of putting off the like issue with uh, coal factory, uh, coal factories, coal uh, energy, and uh, power plants. All that puts all this bad stuff in the air, and then that causes uh, global warming. That causes all the dust. So yeah. It's part their problem and it's part China's problem. Uh, China does a lot of stuff with the air. It's not good, like burning trash. Okay, any more comments? <laughs> but life is good here, yeah, I like it. I'm really annoyed at people today. Yeah, yeah they didn't even see about the Australia. I was, that actually almost made me cry because I saw on Twitter these pictures of koala bears and kangaroos, and they look so sad. It, look, it made me really upset. Uh, another person called me grass? What? What do you mean there? Uh, another person tried to call me grass? Grass? No, I'm not going to talk about that. That's too political. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to talk about that. Uh, nothing about uh, Trump or... Other places like that. I probably that's the most um, I'm gonna talk about like those type of issues. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, you're okay. Mm. Maybe I'll make this in a separate video. Maybe we can talk about it now, and then we'll talk about uh, let's see, trying to give someone try to give you the nickname Grass. Okay, let's talk about it now. So, uh, Jamatsu. Uh, they released a list of, let's see, I think it was from Famitsu, and Jamatsu reported on it, the top 40 uh, most anticipated games uh, this year, uh, or upcoming games. It doesn't say this year, actually. It just says upcoming games. So, guys, right now, tell me what game you think is on top of that list without looking it up. What game do you think is the most is the most anticipated game by Japanese gamers? Or write down below uh, what your most anticipated game is. What? Grace doesn't equal grass. I don't understand what you're talking about, Lily. Um, and game looters. They're doing Pokemon again. Okay. I'm waiting for your comments to start. Um, and then I'll tell me your most anticipated game for 2020. And then we're going to compare that to Japanese right now. Since I'm going to look at the game leaders. What is this? Pokemon Direct. Ah, oh, Lily Pad's here. Hmm. 
No promotion. Don't kick me. Uh, <laughs> okay. Let's see comments. Uh, no one said anything. Comment down below your most anticipated game for 2020. This year or next year. <laughs> okay. And a max stone, where you shove a gigantic max berry and they give you like one, and you get to choose like one of the three starter forms. Did you oh my god, they're talking about Pokemon. So Pokemon came out with a. They're going to have expansion packs and they. Uh, they're going to sell you, so the full game, if you bought both games, if you wanted all the Pokemon, is uh, $60, $60, and $30. So it's like $150, or maybe it's $30 for each game. So if you want for both games, all the Pokemon, $180. Um, that's a lot of money. So they're doing that. Um, let's go through the list here. So the first game, or we should go from... Bottom, uh, okay, ooh, finally, we got some, uh, we got some games, good. Thank you guys for commenting, I've been waiting. Uh, I'm notorious for being in multiple streams. Oh, okay, Lily. And how can you watch, you just like have all the volumes up or you just have my volume right now? Um, Death March Club, what is that? Death March Club, let's look that up. Ooh, that looks like Danganronpa. That looks okay. That one looks cool. Okay, let's uh, and then other ones. Death come true. Are these the Danganronpa? Uh, the guy that made the Danganronpa games is that his series? Uh, Tales of Arise, Cyberpunk, and Final Fantasy VII remake. Uh, they're the same. All oh, the same. Yeah, he said he's done with the Danganronpa series, but. It's the same developer. It might be his series. He has, a, like, three new games, I think, coming out. Yeah, I'm excited for anything he makes. I, I'll buy that. Uh, okay, so let's go through the list. We're going to go from number 40 to number 1, okay? So we'll go backwards from the bottom of the list. Uh, Lover Kiss. So it says Love or Kiss. Lover Kiss. That's, I think, a visual novel game. I actually uh, was looking at that game when I was on PlayAsia because it looked it looked pretty. It looked like a, something I'd be interested in. So, yeah, that's number 40. Here's something surprising. I'm surprised this is even on the list because usually Compile Heart games, it doesn't seem like Japan gives enough... Um, they don't give two Fs about uh, Compile Heart games. So Death End Request 2 is number 39. Number 39 is Death End Request 2. And we'll go through here, but I don't see uh, the VVV Neptunia game. The VVV Tunia 25th uh, Tunia. That game's not on there. They do not care. They do not care about Danganronpa. Uh, not Danganronpa. Uh, Hyperdimension Neptunia games. It was hard for me to find anything over there. And that was uh, back in the day when Hyperdimension Neptunia... Uh, a new game was coming out. They had no, they didn't have like any promotion. Not a lot of people knew about it. I bought some stuff at a store, but like it, it didn't have like many copies of that. They had many copies of other games. So it's not popular in Japan. It's more popular, I think, over here than it is Japan. Uh, day number thirty-eight, Daymare, Daymar, Daymare, nineteen ninety-eight. What is that? Daymar. Let's see what that is. Daymar 1998. PS4? Okay, PS4. Uh, oh, I've seen this. It doesn't... Uh, it, does, it looks okay. It's like a cheap Resident Evil game. Like, it looks, it looks cheap. But maybe it'll be okay. I don't know. I actually got offered to play this game from one of the uh, publishers or developers, they try to send me a, they're trying to get me to play it. 
maybe I'll consider it. I didn't know Japan, I didn't know that it was that popular. It's on the top 40, so maybe I'll try it out. Uh, the next one, this is a Nintendo Switch title. This is called Prison Princess. So let's look this up. Uh, Prison Princess. And this is Nintendo Switch. Okay. Is there any pictures? Maybe I'll turn off the... I have the VPN on. I can turn that off. Maybe it'll load faster. So this... Ooh. Wow. This, ooh, I love the picture. Wow. Ooh. So this comes out January 30th, 2020. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Patrick. Oh, what do we got? Wow, I never get anything like that, usually. Uh, Patrick says, keep it up, Red. Great videos. And he donated $13.99. Is that US dollars? Or that might be CA. I don't know what that is. Canadian dollars? But thank you, man. Um, thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. This is the second, that's the second donation I've ever gotten on here. That's awesome. Thank you, man. <clears throat> uh, let's see here. So Prison Princess. Wow, this looks like something I'd really like. Wow. You lead two captured princesses to solve puzzles and escape the Demon King's castle. Uh, Canadian? Oh. Slightly, what is it? Slightly less uh, than American. It's okay. Uh, Korean dollars are slightly less than American. Wow. This game looks really good. I'm going to have to keep an eye on this game. I'm going to keep this link open. This game looks really good. Um, and hopefully the gameplay is as good as everything else. Um, that's awesome. Yeah, I, I think that I want that game now. We got uh, The Legend of Heroes, Trails of Cold Steel 3. That's already out. Why would Japan... Oh, Nintendo Switch version of that. Nintendo Switch version of... Yeah, that's like a W. Okay. Nintendo Switch version of Trails of Cold Steel 3 is coming out this year uh, for Nintendo Switch. And I think the old games are also coming out. Yeah, uh, that's something cool. PS Vita. Wow. Okay. PS Vita anon Anonymous Code. Ooh. Who's making this game? 5P, 5PB Visual Novel Game. Okay. And it's also, it's coming out on the Nintendo Switch, too. But the Vita one is number, what do we got here? 35. Number 35 is Anonymous Code. So I'm going to look at your chats here. Mm. I think my record is between 10 to 15 streams once, once a while, keeping track of the streams and chats and modding a few of them. Wow. Patrick says his most anticipated games are Elden Ring, which I, I've seen that game. That looks like it could be good. Uh, Shin Maga... Shin, uh, sorry, I'm butchering the crap out of this. Shin Megami Tensin, Tensei 5. Is that only Switch? That's probably on the list. That's a Nintendo Switch title. I don't know how they got like the exclusive rights to that, but Nintendo's getting all of those games. Um, have you played Cold Steel game? I'm actually on the first game. I got a review copy for it. But at the same time, I only I had another game that I got, and I got that game before, so I had to review the game that I got first, but it was a long game, and I never got to play it. But I will go and try to finish Trails of Cold Steel. I want to platinum it, but the problem is they're very long games to platinum. So I'm working on the first one. I also had the second one and the third one. Uh, if you do have the new one, you're supposed to be able to transfer your data from one game to the next, just like, uh, what was the game? The side scroller, Dragon Crown, Dragon's Crown, Dragon Crown, Dragon's Crown. You can transfer your data from the PS Vita, PS3 to the PS4, which that's nice. I still don't know anything. Oh, Grace says I still don't know anything about uh, any of the about any of those games. Which games are you talking about? Um, 
Basically, the point of my little tangent earlier about grass was most nicknames I don't like and I get annoyed when people don't listen. Really, the ones I like are Gracie and then Lils. I, I told you about Lil. I was calling you Lils. <laughs> um, let's see. Where's Lils? Where the Lils at? Okay, give me a second. No. Dumb YouTube. Okay, let's go on to the list. Uh, so we got Anonymous Code, which is PSV. Next is number 34, PS4 game, Metal Max Xeno Reborn, which I've heard of the Metal Max stuff. Um, it's something I'm not that interested in. I actually got offered that, and I think I declined it because it wasn't my style. Uh, next is PS4. This is, this is, I think, a 3DS game that's coming to PS4. Sakuno, Sakuna, I think. Sakuna, Sakuna. Uh, of Rice and Ruin, unless this is a second, maybe this is a sequel. Sakuna. Okay, let's see. Is this a remake or is this a sequel? So this is coming out on Nintendo Switch, PS4, and Windows, uh, Microsoft Windows, it says. This is made by XSeed. I might be able to get a review copy of this, unless it's already out. Um, it says initial release date 2019. When is this game already out? Oh, delayed until 2020. Um, it was originally, it's a farming simulator that was originally announced back at E3 2017 for PS4 and PC. Maybe they needed more time to get it because they wanted to get it on the Nintendo Switch. Maybe that's why. And they wanted to release it all at once. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, that, that one also actually doesn't look bad. What do you guys think? Uh, let's see here. Okay. Let's look at the next one on the list. Ooh, this one's called Void Terrarium. What is that? Void Terrarium. Okay, Void Terrarium. Oh, this is a, looks like an NIS game. This game um, is $64.99 on PlayAsia? Why is it so expensive? It's a roguelike RPG. It looks like one of those uh, indie NIS titles is what it looks like, but it's $64.99. That's a little expensive for an indie game. Like this, prince, this Prison Princess, this is $20. It actually looks really... I'm, I'm going to have to buy that. It looks good. Okay. Number 31. Grand Blue Fantasy Relink. This, I think, used to be a phone game. Or it still is a phone game. Grand Blue. Oh, it's an anime. I thought it was a iPhone game. It might be an iPhone game. Maybe in Japan. But it's coming out uh, in February. This is made by Xseed. Wow. Xseed, man. Oh, and Arc System Works. They're my favorite publisher. No. <laughs> that was sarcasm. Yeah, they gave me copyright strikes before. Uh, sorry, I'm a little itchy. Yeah, I don't like Arc System Works. Uh, number 30. Nintendo Switch Momo Taro. Let me see, is this bigger? Oh, it's bigger on this. Let's look at this. I don't have to click on my little thing. Momo Taro. I don't know how to say that. Uh, it has a lot, a lot, a lot of Japanese. That's a Nintendo Switch game. Momo, Momo Taro Dentatsu. Dentatsu. Uh, and it has a lot more. That had 114 votes. Next, a lot of you guys probably know this game already. This is called uh, Tokyo Mirage Sets, uh, Tokyo Mirage Sessions, uh, Fate something Encore. Uh, it says Fe Encore. I think it's Fate something. It's like Fate something. Um, that's on um, number twenty nine. You never heard of it? Uh, Tokyo Mirage Sessions was for the Nintendo uh, Wii U. They censored the crap out of the game, and a lot of people didn't like it that they censored it, so they got the Japanese version. 
maybe this one's not censored because Nintendo changed their policies. So let's see. Next is number 28, uh, Gen Shin Impact. I've never heard of that. That's a PS4 game. Uh, I'm not looking that one up. Number 27, Nintendo Switch, and it's also coming to the PS4, um, but this is, what, this is what the votes got on it. Um, Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles Remastered for the uh, Nintendo Switch is also coming to the PS4. This was on the GameCube. I think it's two games. Correct me if I'm wrong. It might be three games. I actually had, I bought these when I bought a GameCube, but then as soon as I got a GameCube, I got many other systems like the Vita, and I just never played it. And now all the GameCube games are coming on the PS4, and the 3DS games are coming to the PS4, so I can play these games without ever having to hook up GameCube ever again. I need water. Ugh. I don't see any chat. You guys can chat. Tell me what you think about these games, if you heard of them. In case you didn't for figure it out, Grace is me. Yeah, I think I kind of figured that out. YouTube switched me. Yeah. Next game, Trials of Mana. I really want this game. Uh, this is, I think, a remake. Uh, there was a Trials of Mana, and they're remaking that. That's going to be on Nintendo Switch, I think, only. It could be on the PS4. I have to look this up. Trials of Mana Remake. It will be coming on Steam. And I know it's on Switch. PS4 also, yeah. PS4, Steam, and Switch. Can you possibly show us the screen? Uh, no, this is only on my phone. I don't have a camera, plus I'm at, I'm at work. This is my free time right now. So... I'm on a, like a break because of lunch, so I have a long break here, and this is it's just something I want to do. Yeah, sorry. You can probably see this screen up here. This is where the audio goes through the TV. So the next game, 25. I really want to play this game, even though it's made by Koei Tecmo. It's called Fairy Tale. This is based off of a uh, an anime. Yeah, I'm leaving that other one up because I really want. Fairy tale. This is based off of an anime, and the anime ran from, let's see, is a Japanese manga series, and it's also an anime. Um, yeah. Released in 2011 through 2016. So, yeah. I really want to play that game. It looks interesting. Uh, I still haven't heard of that one. Fairy tale, yeah, I've heard of it because I've seen Koei Tecmo on Twitter. And I looked at the video when it came out about it. Number 24, 24, is Persona 5 Scramble, The Phantom Strikers. Which, I think that's on here twice. No, it's only on here one. Oh, yeah, it's on the PS4 ones up much higher. Okay. Um, yeah, that one looks really good. Hatsune, Hatsune. You guys are going to kill me if uh, you watch this later. The hardcore fans, Hatsune Miku, uh, Project Diva, Mega Mix, Nintendo Switch. This one got 157 votes. That's number 23. Number 22 is another remake. Uh, Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. This came out on the Wii. Then it came out on the Nintendo uh, 3DS. Then it came out with, uh, they had a second one. And then they had one for the Wii U, I think. I think they had one for the Wii U and one already on the Switch. But this is the first game, uh, re basically a remastered of that, which I would I would love that. I bought it on the stupid, uh, I think I bought it on the Wii U or the Wii or something, and it was, I never played it because I did not like my Wii U. Uh, next, 21 is PS4 Romance of Three Kingdoms. 14. I actually got requested to do a review of this from the European Koei Tecmo because European Koei Tecmo likes me. American Koei Tecmo, they, they, they hate me. Um, they got 175 votes. Um, I'm not sure if I want to do that. I've been thinking about it. 
Uh, it's a strategy game. Uh, number 20. Oh, okay. Yeah, so you guys might get it. I don't know how to say the first word. It's called Jet Girls. It's I think that's the game made by the Sunron Kagura games. Uh, director? Po producer? That guy, uh, he got really irritated because Sony wanted them to censor everything and he stopped wanting to make the, those games. But the Jet Girls, I think, is made by the same guy that uh, wants... So he's trying to do something a little different and mature enough that Sony will still let them uh, publish it on their platform. Sony's been weird. Uh, number 19, PS4 game, Ghost of Tsushima. So that game is number 19. Number 18, Grand Blue Fantasy Versus. Didn't we already have this? Grand Blue... It was a yeah, they have a Grand Blue Fantasy Relink. Okay. And there's a second, there's another game from Grand Blue. Grand Blue Fantasy Versus. That's the one I was looking up earlier. So what's Relink? Grand Blue Fantasy Relink. What is that one? So the Relink is at the bottom of the list uh, versus at the top of the list. So Grand Blue Fantasy Relink. Relink is an action role-playing game made by Psy Games. What the heck is this? That looks really good. Hmm, that's a single-player game. I'm gonna have to look that. That looks really good. Okay, I think that one looks better than the Versus one. Um, okay, number 17. Uh, the Last of Us Part 2, which I'm surprised because this is Japan we're talking about. But Japan, apparently, the readers at Famitsu like The Last of Us Part 2. This one's really cool. Uh, number 16, for the Nintendo Switch, Rune Factory 5. Which I think, this is a new one, right? It's not a remake. They've been remaking 4, I think, forever. 5... Good. Wow. That's a new game. So, Room Factory 5 is an upcoming role-playing simulation video game developed by Marvelous. Marvelous actually gave me a copyright um, before. The first entry in the Rune Factory series since 2012. That's what I'm talking about. Rune Factory 4 has been made too many times. Just make a new game. Uh, let's see. What did you say? <laughs> um, Lily says I got some pizza now okay for breakfast <laughs> um, I came late for this live what is this list um okay so Kareem Kareem 8 or Kareem Kareem 8 in okay Kareem 8 this uh, is the Famitsu top 40 games 4D games of 2000, or it's just his upcoming games. So it could be 2020, 2021, maybe. Some of these games might get delayed. So it's the top 40. We're on number 16, which is Rune Factory 5, which received 207 votes um, from Famitsu. And the one that showed this all this information is Jamatsu. Jamatsu and Famitsu like each other a lot. So they'll report on Famitsu stuff a lot. So, next is number 15. Okay. One Piece Pirate Warriors 4. Which I didn't know they had that many. Last time I looked at that, there was just one. Now there's four of these games now. Uh, that's for the PS4. What is this next one? The next one is Yushiro. I think that's right. I could type it in. What is this game? Wow. That looks like a dark game. I want that. Okay, so this is an, up, an upcoming turn-based role-playing game developed by Level 5 for the Nintendo Switch. Level 5 made, I think, Nino Kuni, maybe? And they made, uh, my, fa my favorite game by them is White Knight Chronicles, but the servers got shut down, so you can't get the trophies anymore. So they had a lot of multiplayer trophies. But White Knight Chronicles 2, if you buy that, you get the first game with that game. Buy it. It's really good. But you can't get the trophies. If you don't care about trophies, buy it. Um, 
originally it was announced for the PlayStation Portable. So this is a PSP game that they're now making it a Nintendo Switch game. It says release date is to be announced, but apparently this is really popular on this list. Let me see. Uh, I got dinner, threatened to not send me the cat pictures if I didn't eat. What? What cat pictures? Uh, otherwise I wouldn't have eaten. I don't know what you're talking about, Lily. Um, let's see here. So Yushiro looks pretty good. Uh, Shin Magam, yeah, this is what someone else, and I'm probably butchering this. Shin Magami Tensei 5 is number 13. Someone else already said this was their top game. This is on the top uh, 13 of the list. Cyberpunk 2077 is number 12, which if this was America, this would probably be number one almost. It looks good. Um, Trials of Mana remake. So we had this, where was that? Number 26 for the Nintendo Switch. This is number 11 for the PS4. So this had 307 votes. And there's a new Dragon Ball Z game called Kakarot. Kakarot? Kak? Kaka? Kaka? Kak? Kak? Kakarot? Maybe? Let me see here. Papago. See how they pronounce it. <laughs> Kakarot. It's like Japanese. Let's see what they say. Cairo. Cairo? Kakarot. See, that's what I said. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Let's move on. Uh, that's a new Dragon Ball Z game. Number 10. Number nine, Resident Evil 3. I've never played this one. I would like to play this one. I almost finished two on the remakes. Resident Evil 3 remake, I was not expecting that. Now, so that means next year, we might get an actual remake of Resident Evil 4. I hope so. I really hope so. Resident Evil 4 is like my fav one of my favorite games of all time. My number one game, probably, for horror games, Resident Evil 4. And if they release Resident Evil 3 and it does so well, why not shoot for the moon, remake Resident Evil 4 with better graphics, the same story, same gameplay. Don't change the gameplay. Just upgrade the whole graphics to the new system, Resident Evil 2 system, like uh, the graphics. Everyone will be happy. I don't care. It got re it got remastered so many times. I don't care. I want to remake a full remake of Resident Evil Four. Please release that Capcom. So that's number nine. Number eight, surprisingly, Bayonetta, Bayonetta Three for the Nintendo Switch is above Resident Evil, which that's surprising. That has more votes than them. Okay, next. Um, let me see. I think we got a chat there. Not surprised that Cyberpunk is low on the Japanese list. I'm pretty sure, yeah, Final Fantasy VII Remake is, will be much higher. Okay. So next is The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild sequel, which that's number seven for the Nintendo Switch. And I'll, yeah, yeah, definitely. This Persona 5 scramble, The Phantom Strikers, was on the Nintendo Switch way down on the list at 24. It's also, for the PS4, it's at number 6, which I, that's not surprising. Persona 5 was an exclusive. My earbuds are slowly <laughs> giving out. Okay. Sorry if I've been itching a lot. I'm actually, I think it's the dust. I don't think I have the air coming in, but it's, it's dusty here and I'm itchy. My allergies. Okay, number 5, Neo 2. So Neo 2 is, uh, for the PS4, got more votes than Persona 5. Wow, 507 votes. Um, number 4. Uh, if you have an opinion, please comment. Okay, Yakuza Like a Dragon. I'm surprised Yakuza is higher on this list than Neo, Persona, Zelda, Resident Evil, Trials of Mana, like, I'm surprised it's that high. 
apparently, well, Japanese people must really like it because it's pl it's in Japan. Um, but I'm surprised. I'm just surprised it's that high. Hmm. I miss talking with you these past few weeks. You didn't stream. Yeah, I was in a sad state, so let's not talk about that. Let's go on to number three. Animal Crossing. This is another one I'm surprised about. I didn't know Japan liked Animal Crossing so much. I know Americans. You know a lot of there's a big fan base here for Animal Crossing. Um, this is off of Twitter, Jamatsu, who's reporting it from Famitsu. So this is based off of Famitsu's top 40 games. Upcoming games based off of their readers. Um, Animal Crossing New Horizons got 590 votes. Yeah, Famitsu. Yeah. Uh, for the Nintendo Switch. And next, I think there was supposed to be an Animal Crossing for previous Nintendo system, and it never came out. Yeah, and now it's finally coming out. Tales of Arise. Which a lot of you said that's your number one game. Uh, earlier, maybe, let's see, how long has this been going? Almost one hour, so about 30 minutes ago, a lot of you said Tales of Arise. Yeah, Tales of Arise looks really good. 740 votes. That's a whole over 100 more votes than Animal Crossing. And that's for the PS4. Uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake. Got 1,553 votes. That's over twice as many as Tales of Arise. The problem... See, here's the thing. I think they should call it Part 1 or call it Final Fantasy VII Remake Midgar. Because... Because this is not the only game that's going to come out. There's going to be many Final Fantasy VII games coming out. This is Part 1. And Part 1 is only Midgar. But, now i started changing my opinion on it because I heard, I don't know if this is a rumor, but I saw and heard that they said that Final Fantasy VII, the remake of Midgar, is supposed to include things that weren't in the original game. Ooh. Yay, she messaged back. Okay, so this is, um, so this is supposed to include things that they originally cut out of the original game for the PlayStation 1. So this actually is intriguing me and making me want to buy the remake. Even though I want the full game, if they've added enough new content that it's different and not the same story and there's more story, yeah, of course I'm going to want that. So... So let me know, guys, uh, what you think. This is the top. So number one was Final Fantasy VII. It's number two. We're just going to do the top ten because I already went through the whole list. Tales of Arise. Animal Crossing. New Horizons. Number three. Number four. Yakuza Like a Dragon. Five. Neo 2. Number six. Persona 5 Scramblers. Number seven. The Legend of Zelda. Breath of the Wild 2. Sequel. They didn't really give it a, a full name yet. Bayonetta 3 is number 8. Number 9 is Resident Evil 3. And number 10 is Dragon Ball Z. Let's go back here. Kakaret. Yeah, whatever that is. Kakaret. Okay. Or the Japanese... What they said the Japanese is... Cairo. Cairo? I don't know if that's right. <laughs> okay. Um, so, let's look at your comments on the computer here. Yeah, hey there, zombie. How are you doing? Um, uh, Kareem, what do you agree with uh, about Final Fantasy VII? About my opinion? Yeah. Um, Lily put a heart. Thank you. Okay, uh, the demo is coming soon for Final Fantasy VII Remake on PS4. You can try it and decide. Yeah, I wasn't sure about the gameplay mechanics either, so I definitely have to try out the remake. I don't need to see my name? I forgot about that. Yeah, it's because every Korean person has a thing on the bottom. If you don't label your stuff, they steal it. So they'll take it and they'll use it and they'll be like, oh, this is yours? Yeah, I put labels now on everything. You didn't see it? 
but you guys already know my name by now. Mm, let's see, what is on the bottom? Okay. You know my nickname. Okay. Okay, you guys can comment now. <laughs> um, that part of the video is now over. That live stream part's over. This was by Jimatsu. So I'm giving them credit. Jimatsu is a fabulous website. I love that website. That's where I get a lot of my news if I want information about Neptunia games and different things. And Famitsu is a very popular one. I, I don't know your name, actually. Well, don't rewind the video. Um, it's okay. I'm actually looking... Let's look at Jimatsu, since you guys aren't done. Um, same here. I only know your nickname, Red Senpai. <laughs> so... Can I go on Jimatsu? It's not blocked. Holy crap. My school blocks everything. So. Yeah, here's another game that I don't care about. Blasblue. Like, I liked Blasblue until they gave me copyright crap. Copyright strikes. The Japanese company did. So, I don't do anything Blasblue. I try if they give me a code, but I think they already know that I don't want it. So, they don't try to give me codes anymore. Um... Blaz Blue, I called it Blaze Blue, but some people call it Blaz Blue. Maybe it is Blaz Blue. Um, I don't try to buy those games. I don't care about those games because of the copyright, and they really screw a lot of their fans on YouTube. Uh, Guilty Gear, the same thing. Guilty Gear, um, they gave me copyright strikes, so I don't, I don't mess with that company anymore. I don't risk it. Uh, same here. I know your nickname is... R3D Senpai. Thank you. <laughs> senpai. I haven't heard that in a long time. I'm looking here now if there's anything worth talking about. Um, if you guys want to talk about the Pokemon Sword and Shield, you can let me know in the comments and then we can talk about it. Because I feel really annoyed by that because they didn't want to give you all the games, all the Pokemon before, but now... We're going to do an expansion of 200 Pokemon, including, I think, Squirtle's in there. We're going to give you Squirtle for $30 extra. You, you pay us $30, we'll give you Squirtle. I don't like that. It's, it's reminding me of Koei Tecmo, but it's not at a premium. Like, Koei Tecmo is $90. Not over $90. So, I don't mind it for 30 but it should be just already in the game. Um, it's better though than Koei Tecmo, but it's still not, not good. Uh, thoughts on DBZ? I'm looking forward to it the most, mostly for the show in RPG. Where do I, what? Where I do what the F I like has my interest. Oh, you like the, because you can do whatever the F you want. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'd never played the... Dragon Ball Z games, because they um, they didn't look that interesting, but maybe if I played them, maybe I'd like them. I think if you like the animes, you probably will uh, really like them. Sorry, Lily, I said Lily instead of really. Mm. Um, yeah. Yep, comment, and then we can chat. Um, I'll read your comments here. And too blurry. Hmm. Let me see here, 720. Yeah, the phone only goes to 720 when I'm doing live streams for some reason. Hmm. I don't know why. It doesn't look too blurry. Let me rewind it. Yeah, it doesn't look bad. To me on the computer, it doesn't look bad. But yeah, I noticed that on the couple of live streams before it was bad. Uh, what did you say here? Um, I couldn't read it. Oh, good. Yeah. That's good for me. Uh, let's see. Maybe it only focuses on my face when I do this. Okay. The label was too blurry. That's good. Like, I also had, like, on another live stream, when I put my phone down, it had information, but you couldn't read it because it was too blurry, which I was really happy. That's why one, a couple of the live streams I have um, I privated them. I didn't delete them, but just on private. It doesn't look like there's anything interesting. Only about Pokemon having a DLC. Uh, Sony basically released uh, a thing that just said PS5. 
like it looks the exact same logo as the PS4, but with a five. And someone said upside down, it says SSD. I don't, I don't really care. <laughs> it's nothing really that interesting. But uh, yeah, let me know how you guys are doing. If there's any games that you're interested in. Um, last time I did something like this, you guys couldn't stop talking. So I'm just looking forward to reading your comments. Now I'm just attempt gonna attempt to read this label every time. Uh, I know you're busy with life, but man, I missed your reviews, your review videos. It's been a while since you. Yeah, my last review. I can actually go in and look here. I did a Mario review that had only 200. It started with like a hundred of viewers, which I was really disappointed. But, um, it has 271, that's not bad, but they used to get more views. I did some videos. Um, I did an unboxing video, and I also did, uh, I re-uploaded, so I took the live stream of the Danganronpa, the full video. I took it from Twitch, uh, 1080p. YouTube has a limit, and it was, like, off by, like, 50... It was like 20 gigabytes or something off the limit. So I had a, I downloaded it again in 720p, re-uploaded it from Twitch to YouTube, and it worked fine. But YouTube limited the video to 12 hours. I guess because uh, 1080p takes up a lot of time. But I do plan on so because I have all this. I'll have all this in between time. I do plan on having a Mega Dimension Neptunia 24-7 live stream. I have to re-edit the videos to take out my outro and my intro and the end card stuff. I have to take all those out. So I have to re-render all the videos. And I'm going to have a 24-hour, 24-7 live stream of Mega Dimension Neptunia V2. Because that's my most popular, I think, series on here. Other than Fairy Fencer. One of the reasons why Fairy Fencer, I can't do that, is because Fairy Fencer keeps getting copyright claims from, I was going to do Fairy Fencer, but I think Mega Dimension is more popular and in the long term, more people like Hyper Dimension than uh, Fairy Fencer. Fairy Fencer, I've been getting copyrights from Japanese companies and you cannot fight them. So I wouldn't want that on a live stream and then they try to copyright strike me or something, so... We'll do Mega Dimension, um, maybe The Last of Us. Maybe I'll do a 24-7 live stream of my walkthroughs or something before the new one comes out. Maybe I'll try to do a 24-7 live stream of The Last of Us. Wow. My skin looks really good on here. Yeah. Let's see. Um, DBZ is... Mm hmm I love the show. It's worth watching. I played Fighter Z. That game is fun for online com competition. I'm getting copyright next week. It's going to be interesting. Oh, so that game comes out very soon. Okay. I like V2 better. I think it's more challenging. There's no auto save in V2. Uh, V2. If you have a VR headset, maybe it's better. I think. But if you don't have a VR headset, I would get V2. I like V2 a lot. Uh, I really miss your streams a lot. Oh, thank you, Lily. Thank you. <sighs> if you have a VR headset, a VR headset. Um, if you have a VR headset, I think a V2 is good because it has, they added extra scenes for VR. Um, the trophies seem like they're still kind of hard on V2. Or, um, V2, there was a trophy where you had to grind to get these things. I gave up on it. I, that's like the only trophy I need on it to get a platinum. I gave up on it. And then I've been getting some weird comments about, let's see, this comment. This guy's complaining because I did a to max level 99 on uh, Mega Dimension. And with Mega Dimension... Um, it used to have a cap, a level cap of 99 before the game came out. So as soon as the game came out, I think it, they increased the DLC with a 300 um, level cap. And then they eventually came out with the 500 and the 9999. And they complained about that. It was like, 
I made those videos before the game like was out, so it's like can't do anything about it now. You could probably use the videos to get the 999, use the same tactics, but yeah. Uh, let's see. I miss talking to you. I'm about to have a second headset. Why am I looking up in the air? That's what, that's what I'm doing when I'm thinking, I guess. I got a platinum for V2. V2R was easier than V2. Yeah, there was something stupid where you had to collect something and it was like they were randomly generated. So I did that for like an hour and then I was like, it's not worth it. I want to get through the game, not focus on a stupid trophy. Um, I also want to do, I want to finish. I have to go back and I have to re-record stuff from Danganronpa 2 to finish that walkthrough. Because you know how hard it is when you have to connect all the wires in your computer and you have to have an audio wire and you have to have all this crap for the Vita just to record it. Um, the PS TV might make it easier, but I think Danganronpa 2, there's touchscreen stuff? I can't remember. Let me know if you know. Um, some of the Danganronpa games have touchscreen things, and that's why Hyper Dimension Neptunia Rebirth 1... There's, there are touch screen or back screen controls, so you can't just like play it on the PS TV. You have to have it for the Vita, and you have to have the special Vita that I have to record. And it's not fun always recorded. Sometimes the is a little loose, so sometimes you don't even get it recorded. So it's not fun recording on the Vita. But if I have, if I can play on the PS TV, maybe I'll do Danganronpa two, and then I can finish Danganronpa three, like a recording. I stopped recording because it took up too much memory. And second, it's a lot to edit. Danganronpa games, there's like especially the trials, I make a lot of mistakes. I'm not going to lie. I make a lot of mistakes on those. So it's hard to record and edit all that. The trials is the worst part. <laughs> Editing those are not fun. Um, are they going to release... They're going to... Re well, they already released one, which I might upload some videos on that. They've released Rebirth 1 for the PS4... But they did not release 2, 3 in Japan, and they might not ever. Because it, maybe it's because it's not popular anymore. If you look at the top list, Death End Request, and this is in Japan, Death End Request 2 is on the list. Um, Neptunia V, 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 Tunia, whatever it is, Hyper Dimension, V, 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 Tunia, maybe 25, I don't know, I think that's the Roman... Maybe 25th anniversary, 2555. That game um, is not coming out, uh, is not on the top list. And that's out of 40 games. And it's in Japan. You think Hyper Dimension would be popular in Japan? It's not. It's very, they sell very little um, amounts of units. I wish it was more popular. Um, yeah, I don't know. And then all my data got like deleted when my memory card crapped out. The 64 gigabyte, you know how expensive those are for the Vita? It crapped out. I lost all my data. I have some data backed up, but like every time like I try to re re try to go back to Hyperdimension Rebirth games, it's like I always have to start over and then go back and start over because I've had problems with the memory cards. That's sad to hear. I enjoy Neptunia again. Yeah, me too. Um, VV V Tunia looks really good. I think I think that I'll like that one. It's like your maybe the gameplay when I don't think I've seen gameplay. Maybe when they show the gameplay, maybe it'll be similar to the Cyber Dimension Neptunia. Uh, somebody want to do this homework for me? I don't know. Yeah, homework's not fun, but you do have to do it. Let's see. Yeah, you guys can talk. <laughs> Let me go and uh, I'm going to see. I'm not going to leave. I'm going to see what the game leaders are talking about. <laughs> hmm. They're not going to copyright strike me because they're very friendly people. Wow, they have 22 people right now. Why can't we get that many? They're not going to involve themselves in some sort of like entrenched spec war with Sony and Microsoft because they don't have to. Their first party IPs are strong enough that they know who their fan base is. Uh, they know that they have enough drawing power that they don't need to have the strongest console on the market. And they're just not going to fight that battle, in my opinion. But what I do think will happen is they will have to release a feature version of the Nintendo Switch because right now <laughs> the Switch is about to get essentially less than less. <laughs> I'm, 
I, I wrote, I'm streaming you guys now. Oh, what is that? Can you guys hear them? I like the these guys. They're small, but I like uh, I like their interest. Can you guys hear them? Yeah. Okay, so let's uh, let's let's uh, pause that right there. So, what do you guys think of uh, Alienware? Alienware is coming out with something called uh, UFL, and it's a Nintendo. It's like a Nintendo Switch, but it plays PC games. So, what do you guys think about that? Um, what I thought was really interesting that um, when I saw Linus Tips, uh, tits. <laughs> Linus Tech Tips, they uh, reported from CES and Alienware um, said, like they said, why aren't, why aren't the graphics, like like the cards inside and everything up more, like better? And they said, well, do you want it to overheat and then like all this other stuff and work? So it's nice that they come in, they're coming out with something that's going to work and something that's not going to overheat. That's what my problem with the laptops were, was overheating issues with Alienware. That's why I don't buy Alienware. Um, let's see, what we got? Cyber Dimension with game was great, but it was technical, it was, it has some technical issues that made it clutchy. I prefer the battle system more than Cyber Dimension, uh, V2 better than Cyber Dimension. Uh, me too. Um, V2R actually changed the whole battle system up, so... It's different too. I've never even heard of it. Yeah, so I could show you a picture. I just have to rotate again. Wow, this thing's really good. I don't need a stand. Look at this. I got a peanut butter jar. <laughs> it's a, this is a peanut butter jar. <laughs> I don't need a stand. Um, this works good because I could just rotate it. Uh, let's see here. All I want to do now is mess with Nightbot and draw v VR as well, but instead I have homework. I'm not into PC gaming. I am into ga console games, but that's the thing. You can play on the go on PC game. Like all, you know how many games, if it plays like Steam, your whole Steam library on the go, imagine that. That's awesome. Like, I think it's a good concept, but as... If it overheats, it's a piece of junk. I hate sometimes Alienware um, laptops. Let me see, Alienware UFL. And it even uh, has like a stand that you can stand it. It looks pretty cool actually. I think it looks good. And I think the answer to this Nintendo, I hate to admit it because I just bought a Switch. I think that the Switch, uh, there will be a Switch Pro. Maybe they'll call it a Switch XL. I don't know if they're going to go with the old formula. They had it before, Switch Lite. I mean, they had a DS, a DSi, DS Lite, DS XL, or 3DS XL. They had all those. I don't know if they're going to go with that same formula, but they did call it the Switch Lite. So maybe they'll come out with a Switch XL, and it'll be a more powerful system. I just What I heard is that... Maybe it'll be 1080p for the screen on the go, which that's nice. Um, and then 4K on the TV, which that doesn't mean much of anything because I don't know. Unless it's really upgraded, we'll have to see. Because I don't have a 10, I don't have a 4K TV yet. So this is the, let's see. Um, can you guys see? So here we go. Let's open and a new, here's the picture. Can you guys see well? So this is the... I know, this is because I'm at work, man. This is... I don't have, like, all this fancy technology. This is the UFO. This is the Alienware. But this is going to be more expensive than a Nintendo Switch, by the way. This thing looks pretty sweet to me. I think it looks good. And I think these come off. You can hook it to your TV. Like, it looks like a good concept. What do you guys think? Ooh. Okay, stand. 
What are you guys thinking about that? Do you think that's a good idea? Like, I think the UFO looks cool. They're talking about in the other chat about the Switch uh, Pro. And I know, man, it looks so itchy. I am itchy. <sighs> um, yeah, it comes off. It comes off just like the Switch. I don't know if they'll have, like, uh, someone will sue them. But I think Nintendo Switch isn't, like, the owner of that. Nintendo doesn't own the uh, rights to that. I think some other company owns the rights to the sliding on and off technology. But I think Alienware, if they do it right, maybe they have a game changing device. That's awesome. Imagine playing your whole Steam library on the go. You, you'll slip up one day. My name's on the bottom of the label. I think I, I drank this in my last live stream. I've been put... Oh my god. Really? You have been placed in time out by the owner of this video. Or a moderator. I wonder who did that. Lily, did you put me in time out? Uh, I've been put in time out on the game leaders. Thank you. Okay, then I won't even put that out. Just delete. I just put it off. Um, I'm always putting time out. Uh, it looks awesome, but as you said, if it overheats, then it's crap. Yeah. Just like I said. Uh, I'm not into PC gaming, but if you, if you had this device, would you be into PC gaming if you had this device instead of a Nintendo Switch? Your whole PC library on the go. I think that's what... Xbox is trying to do too. They're trying to get it that you can play your games anywhere, any device. Hmm. Yeah. By the way, um, look at this. If you guys, uh, this is what I want to do in my camp. It's called Telestrations. So let's look at this game. This is the Korean version because I didn't feel like, uh, you know, it's like Pictionary. I'm going to explain it here. So Smash Games has... I actually, I could link it to that. Um, it's, it looks really fun. So I have only a few students in fifth grade that are going to be in my camp. So you'll roll the die, and you'll get one of the words on the card. Okay. You roll the die. Whatever it lands on, you get a six. You'll do, this, uh, you'll do the word corresponding to that number. Um, First person uh, writes the word, and then they draw a picture of the word. You go around in a circle, you give it to the next person. They'll guess what they think your word is, and then the next person, I think, uh, I think it's the next person draws it, or the same person, I think it's the next person draws it. And you go around in a circle until you complete that, this. Uh, and if you... Answer if the last person answered it the same as the first person that wrote the word, you get a point. I think it looks really fun. Um, I saw Smosh Games do it, but theirs are a little um, risque. Yeah, it looked really fun. Let me see if I can find a video to that. Yeah, I love Smosh Games. I liked it when they did the board games. Yeah, it's like Pictionary, but more fun. Smash games, telestrations. Um, I think it's it'll be fun. Adult telestrations. Yeah, that's what they play. They play the adult one, and that was really fun. I'll link it here to that video. Also, if I can find a link. Yeah, the one that's called Telestrations After Dark is the one. Uh, I'm gonna link to the actual game. That's a Spanish one. Yeah, I got the Korean one because I don't want to have to, like, I'll explain it to them. But I don't want to have any problems with the, uh, I don't want to have any problems explaining it, like, when I explain it and then they don't understand. So, uh, the Korean version, if I want, I can actually probably just write in the first word, it, an English word, and then they have to go around in a circle like that. Because I'll be the moderator. There's the, there's, that's the adult version, the one that they're playing in Smosh. So you guys can watch that later, or you can watch it now if you want. Mm -hmm. 
Um, if I have a problem with your beard, please shave it. I actually just shaved this. Um, it, it was getting long, so it was like more long. I shaved it down to five um, mm. I don't know what that is, millimeters. I shaved it to five, and then here I shaved the two. So, or three, three, I think. <laughs> what, what's wrong with my beard? Enjoy, bro. Enjoy it, bro. Okay. Um, yeah. <sighs> Message. <laughs> Chat with me, bro. <laughs> I don't like the beard. Why, why, why don't you like my beard? Is it, do I need to grow it? Maybe I need to grow it longer. Yeah, maybe a little thicker is better. But let's so I guess you guys are done. Uh, let's see. We'll go for another twenty minutes. No, no, I'm not answering that. It has white hair in it anyway. I'm not in my thirties. <laughs> I'm not thirty yet. I think that is an insult. Yeah, it has white because of stress. Do you know what stress is? <laughs> that's the one reason why sometimes I don't like it when it's long. It gets white and long. So that's why I don't like it long anymore. Um, yeah. It's called stress, man. When you get older, you get stress. Uh, maybe she has a <laughs> the bottom. The bottom of the bottle doesn't show my full name. So the games, I'm going to tell you, let's see, so we'll go for another 20 minutes or so, make it an even one hour, 30 minutes. Um, so we're going to do Werewolf, and then we're going to do uh, the other games. Uh, show us what's written on the bottom of the bottle. Um, then we're going to do, what else? I have Uno, and that's going to be a simple game for the younger students. Um, the older students could do it too, but I don't think it's as fun. Uh, code names. Code names is really fun. If you look at look at Smash Games, uh, board AF, it's so much fun to watch, especially when they have dirty ones. Um, code names. Telestrations, which is the one I just showed you, and I think that's it. And then we're gonna make food. So, I think it's going to be fun. I didn't get all my supplies yet. Um, for the younger students, I want to do like a, fro like they love Frozen for some reason still. Because the new one came out. Um, we're going to do like a Frozen where they do artwork and stuff. I think they'll like it. The third and fourth graders love drawing and art stuff. I did not make that. My co-teacher made the turkey. Turkey. His turkey is really bad. I have the student turkeys back there. They're really good. Okay. Ask your questions. Anything you want, I will answer. Except what's on the bottom. Oh, dude, I had this when I was, uh, I don't want to go into it. I'll write it here in the chat. I used to live in a house that had my sister and her and, uh, and three nephews in it. This is how I got the white. This is how the story of how I got white hair. It was stressful. Stress. I'm glad to still have hair.
it's better than be bald. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I can't explain it, man. Because when you get stressed, you either lose hair, like all your hair, or you turn into Santa Claus. Um, thank you, though. Um, last time I had it grown out, um, I think it looked better. Then I, my principal said I look <laughs> like a terrorist. My long hair. I was like, that's so racist. What is wrong with her? <laughs> but I didn't say anything. That was in my head. But that's what I was thinking. I was like, that sounds really racist, <laughs> what you said. She actually didn't use the word. She used two words. So, yeah, I'm not going to say them, but she was being really racist. Um, do you like the Nier franchise? Um, yeah. Nier, I have played a little bit on the demo, and then I actually bought the game, but I never played it fully through. I played the demo of Nier 1, and I actually liked it a lot. Um, it was years later until I got the, the first game, and then I got it used uh, GameStop, maybe, or eBay. And, or Amazon. I can't remember. Maybe Amazon. It was an Amazon warehouse deal. And I never played through it because I didn't. I just. I always get new games. And then I play the new games. I try to play the newer games before I play older games or backlog. Um, yeah. And the second. You guys seen that? I streamed uh, the, other, the second one. And it was really good too. That's a good desert game. Don't get Ark of Alchemist. Ark of Alchemist is a wannabe near um, the second game. Near The second game is really good. I gotta leave. That white hair is seriously blah, blah, blah. Aw. Okay. Time out. Yay. <laughs> That's really rude what you said there. That's almost as bad as the racist comment. <laughs> you, don't, you don't talk about people like that. Um... Maybe because of watching horror movies. What about horror movies? White hair? Stress? No, no, no. Horror movies don't. They give me a thrill. Unless it's boring, then I fall asleep and I don't want to watch it. The, there was a newer movie. It's called In Tall Gla uh, Grass. It's terrible. It's really, really bad. And I thought it was going to be good because it was a Stephen King movie. It was a Stephen King movie. And I ended up skipping 30 minutes of the movie, and it was like at the same point. It's the same thing throughout the whole movie. It's not good. I skipped like 30 minutes of the movie, maybe 40 minutes, and it was so bad. Yeah. Don't watch uh, In Tall Grass is not good. Um, what else was really bad? I'm going to give it a second try because everyone's been telling me it's so good. Um, the side, one where they can't talk. There's a second one coming out this year. Everyone loved it so much, and I thought it was so bad. Um, if you know the name of the movie, put it down in the comments or the chat. Um, I did not think it was a good movie at all. Um, I'm going to give it a second try, though. I'm going to try to watch it. I was really bored. I almost fell asleep, and then I stopped watching it. So maybe... Oh, actually, I skipped it. I might give it a second chance. Um, tell me if you're uh, any good horror. I don't want to watch it. I already thought it was a bad idea because I didn't like the original grudge. All they do is the noise thing, and I heard that I heard the Japanese version is really good. So I want to try out the Japanese version. So I'll watch that on Netflix sometime. Yeah, I heard the new one's really bad. I watch, uh, what's his name? Jeff... Jeffrey Johns? Something Johns. Uh, Jeremy Johns. His reviews, because he usually has the same opinion as me, and he thought it was terrible. Not even like, um, it's a good time if you drink with it. Like, sometimes he does like, oh, you have a better time if you drink alcohol. But that movie wasn't even worth watching with alcohol, so... I would just skip it. Um, hi there, Plan Neptune. Plan Neptune. Goddess. Hey. Let's see here. I got grazed. God, you can stop talking about it. Is this a different person? Okay, a different person. Good. 
I got Grays too. Besides it being genetic, I love mine. I am 30, and it and it creates an illusion. People approach me differently when I let the, my grays show. I have jet black hair. Yeah, my hair is black, but I think it's either because of sometimes the hair products that I use turn it like a brownish color sometimes, or the sun. Maybe from the sunlight, it changes sometimes. But my hair is black. Um, yeah. And white. And I said, sometimes I think it just changes because of the stuff I use. Okay. Any other horror movies? Um, let me look at the list. I'm going to try to find a list. Top horror movies 2020. Oh, there's a new Conjuring movie? Ooh, but the problem is the past side entry Conjuring movies have been crap. There was like a law something. I heard it was terrible. I didn't even know it came out until someone had it on their top worst movies. The Nun came out. I fell asleep and was bored. Um, there's also supposed to be the, what do you call it, man? I don't think it came out yet. I want to see that, though. I think... It could be really good. A crook, The Crooked Man. They're supposed to make a movie on that, but maybe they canceled it because of how bad The Nun did and all the other side entries. So, 25 most anticipated... Oh, we got a comment. Hereditary. I don't know if I saw that one. The movie I saw that was really, really bad. It, it was just... It wasn't... It wasn't like even like disgusting it was just stupid like and it had a weird orgy in it um they go to like some place like sweden and for like a research project and it ends up being like these weird people in a like cult religion and they sacrifice people when they turn a certain age when they're really old they do all these weird things, and it was just like, what the heck is going on? This is terrible. Um, almost as bad as uh, Green Inferno, I think, was better. Green Inferno is like one of the worst movies. It's like a movie I want to see, like like the type of movie I've always wanted to be made, but it it's terrible. Uh, Green Inferno is not good. Yeah. Don't watch uh, Green Inferno, and an and, and ending was not satisfying at all either. So, the top 25 movies they got are The Conjuring, The Devil Made Me Do It, New Versions, Not Everyone's Taste, in September, September 11th, oh, we chose a very dangerous date there. Are any of you excited about the new Conjuring movie? Like, The Conjuring 2 is really good. That's my favorite movie, a uh, horror movie. The story, there's a story. It's not stupid. It's based like some of the stuff you can find, like the tapes, like you can find tapes online about like what actually like the demons, the demon tape things online somewhere. Oh, Midsummer, that's terrible. Don't watch, don't watch it. You're going to like lose brain cells watching that movie. I watched it too and I regretted it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, should have taken my phone with me to keep an eye on the chat while I make banana bread. Oh, banana bread's delicious. Mm. Fantasy Island. Never heard of Fantasy Island. If you know of any of these, let me know. We can talk about it. The Night House. Um, Shut In. Jason Bateman. Okay. I like him. He's a good actor. Oh, it's directed. Okay. He's not in it. I like him as an actor. I think he's funny. The Banishing. Castle Freak. Venom 2? That's not a horror movie. Ven yeah, you, you, you could kind of say it is a horror movie. Venom, Venom 1 was... I actually really liked it the second time I watched it. Second time I watched it was good. Um, Come to Daddy. Okay, this is Elijah Wood of The Lord of the Rings. Um, Godzilla vs. Kong, that is not a horror movie. 
VFW. Next page. Okay, let's see here. End your stream. We're going to end the stream soon. <laughs> Weren't you just in timeout? Yeah, this guy, oh, we should just, he is being a troll. Um, I could block him. Hide this user on this channel. There you go. He's just being a dick. Um, yay. We're not kid friendly anymore. <laughs> Underwater. Uh, antebellum. Antlers. Okay, so that's made by um, Del Toro. So that maybe that won't be too bad. So when I hear the word antlers, I think of like Tusk. Another movie. Don't watch it. It's very disturbing um, and stupid. The whole concept is really dumb. But um, it, it does have some creepy parts to it. But most of the movie, you could just like skip to like the end and it's like, that's the whole reason why you're here. Um, the concept was really stupid. Um, false positive. The Reckoning. Candyman. I, I used to watch Candyman when I was little. That's made. It's going to be made by Jordan Peele. Oh man, that might be really good then. A remake of that might be good. The Invisible Man. The Organ Donor. Malignant. Is this, a, is this a conjuring? Nope. I don't know what that is. Prisoners of the Ghost Land. Mm, yeah, we're going to stop here soon. So, Saint Maud. The Lodge. Wow, all these movies, like, I've never heard. The top one they have on here is The Last of the Vast of Night. This is, this is a terrible website. Okay. So, maybe there's no good horror movies for next year. Uh, it's nearly 11 for me. Do you like straight up horror movies or psychological? Um, what do you mean by psychological? Like what, give me an example. And then like, I ha think I have an idea of what you mean, but I'm not sure. Tell me what you mean. I don't like um, Halloween, the original movie. When I, I, I like the Rob Zombie movie, the first one. The second one was like, what the heck is this? This is weird. This is not what I wanted at all. Second one was bad on the uh, new ones. I like the original, uh, the new re uh, the newer Halloween movie made by Rob Zombie because it gave a backstory. It gave a reason to why he's so messed up and crazy. And it actually, it was really good. I liked it. Um, are you into anime? Yeah, I like anime. Um, I haven't watched a lot in a long time, but... I got a VPN, so now I can watch it with English subtitles, so maybe I'll watch more soon. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Um, I'm going to type it here because I don't think you heard me. Give me an example of psychological horror. Okay, give me a, an example of that type of movie. Um, I will say I liked Dr. Sleep. The Shining, I didn't like. I thought it was very boring. And the second one, Dr. Sleep, it kind of, it was a better movie, I think. Mm. Although it did, it was a little, it is a little slow at some times. Um, I've never seen that. Creep? I've never seen it. Um, let me look up. Best, best psychological horror movies. Oh, The Silence of the Lambs, is that, that's considered a psychological? Yeah, that's a good movie. Silence of the Lambs, uh, yeah, I like that. Although I consider those like, um, so you had Silence of the Lambs, you had, what was the second, was it Hannibal or Hannibal Rising? Hannibal Rising come after? So you had Silence of the Lambs, Hannibal, Hannibal Rising, Red Dragon, and those were some creepy ass movies. Those movies, like, I think Hannibal Rising gave me nightmares because of the whole, if you don't know, um, it's, a, it's the backstory of how Hannibal became Hannibal. And I think it was in Germany. 
and they made him eat, spoiler, they made him eat his sister in a soup. They made him eat his sister's soup. That was one of the most horrifying things I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> like, oh, well, it's not as bad. Well, actually, um, I hated Velvet Bubs Buzzsaw, by the way. I did not like that. That was, that was another weird movie I just did not like. If you have never seen the Hannibal TV series, it is worse than the, like, like, I mean, like, more gruesome, more gruesome than the movies. And it's surprising because it made it to TV. Um, all I'm going to say is the pig guy. I think it's season three or four. I can't remember. The pig guy, he's, he is terrifying. Like, some of the stuff in, with the pigs is terrifying. And that whole series was creepy. That might be psychological in a way, but it's also very gruesome. Those movies are really dis or those the TV series is really disturbing. Watch it. It's on Netflix. It should be on this. It was on Netflix. Um, let me see here. Did you watch Stein? I never never watched Steins Gate. I want to play the games though. It's just every time there's a new game. It's like I didn't play the last game, and I need to play the first game, I think. so. And, and I think they're like re, remakes and stuff. They're, they're really confusing. The timeline, and then there's like a Steins Gate Zero. I think it came out. I think it's supposed to be before the first one. So I don't know the order of those games. Um, the two I know are I'm going to be modding yet again. Because you're, one, you're streaming. Oh, thank you. Uh, wow. You're not going to go to sleep? Okay. I haven't seen... I have seen Hannibal. I watched it as a kid. Messed up. Messed me up good. Yeah. So, the actual correct order would probably be Hannibal Rising, and then I think you could watch... I think you could watch them in any order, but Hannibal Rising, you should watch first. That one would F you up a lot. That one was very disturbing. That was my favorite one out of the series. Until I saw the TV series. The TV series is more based on the books and completely like around the books. It's really good. And I don't think they bring in, they might, but I don't remember um, if they bring in stuff from the movies. It's just uh, really. And Mads Mickelson, he's a really good actor. He is creepy. And that's probably why they brought him in for Death Stranding. He's also in, there's a Hitman movie where he, uh, he's a Hitman, he wants to retire, and then everyone else, um, and then like, because he doesn't want to, because he wants to retire, then they end up putting a hit out on him or something, and it's actually really good. You should watch it. It's on Netflix. Um, just look up Mads Mikkelsen, and yeah, he's really good. Um, I gotta go, Red Senpai. I had fun chatting with you. I hope you had a wonderful day. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Kareem. Um, any more comments on horror movies? I could go on about horror movies. I love horror movies. Good horror movies. Oh, yeah. Psychological Heart Secret Window is a good movie, but one-time movie. Like, I would not watch that ever again. I know the, I know the twist. That's what the only problem with twists or when there's a twist and you know about it, you never want to watch that movie again. That's how I am. Like, except for Saul. I could watch Saul maybe the first one again. There are hard movies to watch again. Um, I used to love them when I was a kid, but now maybe that screwed me up a bit. <laughs> because now, like, a lot of movies, like, when they're gruesome, they're never going to be as gruesome as Saul. Like, Saul is, like, some of the most gruesome things you'll ever see in a movie. And the new ones, they're really bad. The budget looks like they cut the budget to, like, a million dollars or something. Like, they're really bad. Um, Jigsaw was not good. Mm, psychological horror. I'm trying to look here to see if I've seen... Oh, The Cube? I actually went on a binge. I watched The Cube one. I think the second one's called Hyper Cube. And there's a th there's a really bad one. There's a really bad one in there somewhere. Maybe there's three of them. I watched I watched all of them. They're not good movies. The first one was good.
the first Cube movie was actually uh, surprisingly was really interesting and good, but then like the sequel was not even like a sequel. Sequel, it was just like they just made this movie. Um, and then the newest one is really bad. But the reason why, okay, so last year, the reason why I looked up the Cube and went on a binge was because they made uh, Netflix made a movie. What was it called? Escape Room. Escape Room. Um, they made a movie called Escape Room. And it reminded me of The Cube. It literally is like, it looks like a rehashed version, like an updated version of The Cube. And I remember going to my friend's birthday party. For whatever reason, he gave me Final Fantasy VII to borrow. I borrowed that for like two years. Or Final Fan no, it was Final Fantasy VIII? Eight or nine, I can't remember. It wasn't seven. I got into seven because of those games. Because I played those games. I got into seven. And I bought all the other ones. Um, and then he, well, we watched The Cube, and I was just like, what is this movie? Why are you having me watch this? <laughs> and it wasn't, I was just like, yeah, it's okay. But as an adult now, it's not that bad of a movie. When I was a kid, I was like, this is really stupid. Stupid, but I'm gonna be. I'm gonna support my friend here. He likes weird movies. I was surprised. This was like his birthday gift. He got like this DVD of the Cube. Yeah. Ah, there's people. Okay. I love the Cube, but only the first one. Yeah, the rest are the rest are crap. Don't even. Don't even watch. I actually suffered through them, but at least I was eating and doing something else while watching them. Like, very bad. Okay, uh, what do we got here? I was playing the new Call of Duty. Why, why Call of Duty? Um, although that's a remake of, that's a remake of the original, right? I think so. And now the stream won't load for me. Maybe you're on too many streams though, Lily. <laughs> Let's see what else is on here. The Omen. I think I watched a remake. Did they remake The Omen? I think I watched that. Candyman, I can't remember. I remember I was scared, but I watched it. When, when did it come out? So when it came out, I was one years old. So I probably watched, I think I watched that when I was like four or five years old, Candyman, because it was on TV. I streamed the game, and then I just ended. It's And since I already finished the thing, I wanted to do in what? Okay, I got to look here. I stream. I'm ice streaming the game. Okay. I streaming the game, and I just ended it since I already finished the thing I wanted to do in there. Okay. Okay. Um, I think what you meant is I'm streaming the game, and you just finished what you were doing on there, maybe? Um, Hush. I think I tried to watch that. I did not like that movie. I I didn't finish it. Yeah, but I could. I guess I like some uh, psychological horror movies. They're saying Saw is a psychological. Saws were really good when they had like a twist, like a weird twist. The problem is, why did they keep picking on this cop? This cop wasn't that bad of a person. I, at least I don't remember him being that bad of a person, but they kept picking on the cop and he would almost get free and then they they kept torturing him and torturing him until they... <laughs> yeah. It's terrible. So. Okay, person's gone. Yeah, there, there's, uh, those really made me sad when they this... I think it was like this. But all he had to do is take the key and he would have been, he would have went, if he went inside the thing, he would have been safe. But I felt like the twist was bad because why are you, you shouldn't be murdering him. Oh, I felt so bad for that guy. I'll be back in 10 minutes. Okay. The new Call of Duty is a reboot with different events and new and old characters and new content. Okay. So there's new stuff. I didn't know there was new content. Uh, the orphan that that was a was that the one we were like all of a sudden now they just like I think the main twist okay so the orphan's not a good movie 
if it's the same movie I'm thinking of. So in The Orphan, like they adopted a girl, but then she ends up being an old lady or an older person. And it's just like at the end of the movie, it's like, oh, she looks older now. It's like, what the heck? Like, either they didn't recognize that throughout the whole movie. <laughs> no, that wasn't, um, that was a bad movie. The Strangers, I didn't like that movie. Um, let's see. Split was a good movie. I was not expecting to like Split. I thought it was very weird. If you watch it more than once, then yeah, it's... Once you don't know about like all the stuff at the end, the Split was not bad. It actually wasn't a bad movie. I was actually... I thought it was going to be stupid. Uh, what else do we got on here? Psychological... 10 Cloverfield Lane. That was really dumb. I did not like that. Uh... I, I was really hyped for it, too. And the guy ends up being... Yeah, I'm not going to spoil it, but... Yeah, the guy uh, the guy is not good. And you knew he wasn't going to be good. Some of these movies, you can predict what's going to happen, and that's what makes him not so thrilling anymore. Like, you're, you're like... There's a build-up, there's a build-up. But, like, uh, Men in Black International, I just watched that on Netflix. I knew who the bad guy was going to be, because it was so predictable. It was very predictable. It just didn't seem like a Men in Black movie. It, it seemed like it was a decent adventure. So like on a scale, here is a 10, here is a 1. It's like a 5. It's predictable. They didn't need to make it. I do like the actors. They got good chemistry. I think it, uh, it's Chris Hemsworth and the girl that played in the Thor, the same movies, uh, together. They're, they're not bad actors. They got good chemistry. But it's just the movie wasn't that good. Um, what else did I watch recently? I watched. Um, what did, oh, there was a really bad movie. So I had my VPN on for Netflix uh, in US. And I saw... Um, they made a sequel to The Benchwarmers. I don't know why they made a sequel, but they made a sequel to The Benchwarmers. And it was really bad. Um, actually, no, it wasn't really bad. It was just bad. It wasn't, it was, it didn't need to be made and they, it was, it wasn't that good. It has, uh, if you ever seen American Pie, um, the football player in American Pie, I don't know his name. Oh, you're going to duck out. Okay. Oh, you're spamming here. I'm going to duck out because as a result of my internet being spotty, my messages seem to repeat. That's okay. Um. Okay, see you, Lily. And I'm probably going to end it here soon. Are there any new movies that you've seen? Let me know, um, and we'll talk about them. But yeah, that movie was not that good. But in, I can tell you one thing. American Netflix, holy crap. There is so much more on American Netflix than Korean Netflix. And the Korean movies on American Netflix have English subtitles. Um, I like that. So I can watch like a Korean movie and try to learn Korean with the English subtitles there. Mm. I personally disliked all superhero movies for the last 10 years. Especially when they try to retell the stories from comic books. That was said by The Shower of Slime. I like that. I haven't watched Parasite, but I think I can now because I think there was an American release of it. And it has English subtitles. So I couldn't watch that because it didn't have Korean. It didn't have English subtitles. But I could probably look it up now online. And I could probably find it with English subtitles. Um, Parasite was supposed to be a really good movie. It only had like about two weeks here in uh, Korea. It did not last long. But it was. It got like such good praise. I do want to see that. Um, yeah. Um, did you watch that, uh, Bloopin' the Third? Bloopin'. I like that name. Yeah, you got you always come here, but... Bloopin'. Bloopin'. I'm bloopin'. Okay, I'm gonna stop trying to be racist here. Okay. With my accent. I don't want to come off as racist. Bloopin'. Okay. Yeah, now you can see the full... I don't know what my co-teacher, he made the turkey into like a human, half human faced turkey. <laughs> he thought it was cute. But, uh, yeah. 
Any other, any other things? I don't see anything. Maybe we should end this. Maybe. Or, like, since I got American Netflix, uh, tell me uh, movie movies I should watch or TV series I should watch. I actually started watching New Girl, but uh, it's so so. New Girl has some funny moments in it. It's called a New Girl. I think it was a Fox series. I wish they had uh, Damon Wayans on it. They had him on the first uh, episode, pilot episode. They had Damon Wayans, and then the second episode he's gone. So I don't know. I hope they bring him back or something on there because he was funny. I like him. Black Mirror, that's a good show. I like uh, Sometimes. I'm glad that every episode is different. One of my favorite, I actually like the, uh, out of the new season, I think it was only four episodes, three episodes. I like the Miley Cyrus episode. That was an interesting one. And I thought she did a good job. Unlike Lady Gaga in American Horror Story, Hotel, after watching... Um, the problem with me is it had too much sex in it. Gay sex. I did not like that. I stopped watching it after... I'm reconnecting. Okay, we're going to have to stop them because it looks like it's uh, having an error. Have you watched Arrow? I have not watched Arrow. My mom watches Arrow. She likes the, the, the EW series. She likes those series. I have not watched Arrow. I did watch Gotham. I watched Gotham until that got, that kind of got stupid. It kind of became really stupid. Like it wasn't sticking to like the comics and it kind of went, I don't know. It went in a direction I didn't like and I stopped watching Gotham and I thought they kind of finished it and then they brought it back for another season and I was like, well, why did they bring it back? I thought it was finished. So I kind of never finished Gotham. I watched a lot of seasons of that too. It was really weird. There's also I'm not. I don't have a problem with gay people. I have gay friends, but I, I had a problem with the penguin being gay with the Riddler. That was weird. Like I wasn't expecting that at all. And that's not. I don't think that's in the comics. Let me know if that's in the comics. Is that in the comics? They're the Riddler and the Joker. Or not the Joker. Uh, the penguin are gay together. They're lovers. That was weird. I really didn't understand why they even put it in there. Maybe they just wanted... Maybe that's what they were trying. They were trying to go with like, like a diverse... More diverse audience. And they wanted to bring in more people. So they made the Riddler and uh, Penguin bisexual. Mm, I don't know. I do like the actor that pays, plays the Penguin. I thought he was perfect. If they made a movie, I think he would be a really good um, person to cast. He's perfect, actually. He's a really good penguin. Mm. Else? That that is why I like I disliked Game of Thrones. Why did you dislike? Did you dislike uh, Game of Thrones season the last season? I just had a convers. I've been having conversations with this about ev to everyone. <laughs> um, yeah, I just like Game of Thrones, the final season, because, like, I guess you could have, like, made Daenerys crazy. You could have made her crazy, but you didn't show us any change, like, a cha like the change over time. They would have needed, like, two or three more seasons to get to her being that crazy. There was nothing that seemed like it was that traumatic to make her murder innocent people, and she would have never done it. She's like... Um, she's the mother of dragons and the freer, she frees slaves, but now she's just murdering innocent people and looking like who, the people that wrote those episodes, those, that final season was so terrible. They were desperate to please the, that was not, how was that to please the fans? If anything, that pissed off all the fans. That episode, um, I didn't mind the, the Night King fight. There are some things with the Night King fight, like the, the dead walk, the walkers, because they build it up so much. They could have had it like over two episodes or something. 
there are some problems with it, but I overall I did not mind the fight. The after the fight though, everything else was I thought terrible, um, and especially who becomes king. And it was who I said. I said maybe this person will become king. I was just guessing. And that's the person that became the, the the main person of the throne and the Iron Throne and stuff. I was so surprised that I was like, because of how disappointed I was. I said this person's name, and then it just happened. They just so happened to be the person. And I was like, that's pretty bad when I just guess terribly, <laughs> and they end up being the person. Um, I meant to please the fans with an episode. Oh. People were crying for anything, so the, gave, the writers gave them anything. See, yeah, it's so bad. And I think they got fired from the Star, Star Wars series, that, or the movies, that they were planning on writing for Disney. I think they got secretly fired. And I think to save face, they, they said that they left it to do Netflix. You don't... Star Wars is like one of the biggest franchises of all time you don't turn down star wars that would be really stupid if they turned it down so i think they got fired and disney just allowed them to say oh we walked away from the project you know because they probably saw how bad game of thrones turned out they were like well we don't want this to happen to star wars but disney's doing that anyways i heard the new star wars was not good but mandalorian that's a different story that's a really good movie uh, TV series. That was really good. Grimm? What do you mean? Movie or TV series? I like the Brothers Grimm, uh, the, the stories. I like those stories. Grimm, the TV show, I've never watched it because it's going to sound a little weird. My mom liked it, so I didn't want to watch it. If it's something my mom, this is like that whole, like, if your parents like it, I'm not going to like it. Like that type of thing. And usually we do have different um, tastes. Um, yeah, Grimm, I never watched it. And I was surprised she, she, she liked it so much. She's like a strong, very strong Christian. But then sometimes she likes stuff like Grimm. It's like, isn't that like kind of against, I don't know. It feels like it's not something like a really strong Christian would like. Final Destination. I liked it when I was a kid. It scared me when I was on the highway and then there's this big old logger truck <laughs> right in front of you. It's like, I just want this person to move or I want to. I want my father to go around him. Um, I think that was the second one. First one. First three are okay, but then they're very predictable and kind of stupid. I think in the third one or in the second one, they kill everyone. Or in the third one, they kill, they kill everyone off. It's like, well, that's dumb. Usually you leave one person alive. Like, like I know it's predictable, but that would be predictable. But it's also predictable when you like everyone's going to die. Then you already know what's going to happen. And then they bring they don't bring back like uh, big star uh, big stars for the next one. I think I liked uh, I know what you did last summer. I think I think that's what it was. That was a horror movie. Yeah, those were actually pretty decent. Maybe. I don't know. I haven't seen them in a long time. So this is going off of the opinion of maybe 10-year-old me. I don't know. I liked them when I was younger. I thought they were really good. Um, I also liked the uh, Scream, Scream uh, series. The TV series, the first season, and then the second season I didn't really like, and I stopped watching it. Can you stream all the Yakuza, uh, Yakuza games? Um, Yakuza... Uh, no. <laughs> I don't think every time I try to stream those games, I don't think they did that good. I think when I've uploaded separate walkthroughs and gameplays, they did good after a while. I know what you did last summer is more of a thriller. Now, we don't have to just talk about it. Like there, my favorite though is The Conjuring Two. When you have like something that builds a story, that's kind of why I like the Saw series. And it's like usually in the Saw series, it's like uh, let me see, view deleted. Okay, yeah, I'll get to that comment soon. Sorry, Josh, uh, Nightbot's being a dick. Um, so when you have like a story that builds up and builds up and builds up, and it's really interesting, and it's based on like 
stuff that actually happened around like it's not all real but it's based on stuff that happened supposedly happened that's more interesting than just oh i'm i'm going to stalk my sister and i'm going to try to kill people around her or there's a naked woman in the shower i'm just going to stab her that, the Halloween movie, the first one, I, I thought that's why I like the reboot so much. Uh, the Rob Zombie, the first one. The second one, Rob Zombie movie, terrible. Never make a movie like that again. That movie was terrible. And I was very surprised by Rob Zombie because he made something like you have feelings for, um, like he made you feel for the kid. He had problems when he was younger. He went through this crazy time and then he broke out of the, the, the sane asylum. Which is, it's, 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 that's, that gives you depth, and that gives you a story, and that's good. But maybe Halloween fans, maybe really strong Halloween fans don't like that. Maybe they just want a slasher, a stupid slasher. Like, I don't like that. Um, but yeah, I like the depth that they provided on that movie. And then I watched the old, uh, the other Rob Zombie movies. I thought those were terrible. They felt like they just kind of wanted... To just kill a bunch of people and have lots of blood, and the one where he takes off his fa her father's uh, there. There's a scene in one of the movies. He takes they they cut the skin off a uh, the girl's father's face, and he puts it on his face, and then he kisses her. That is one of the most disturbing things ever. But I thought it was just it wasn't a good story. It was just they wanted to be gruesome for the fact that they wanted to be more gruesome than any other film. I did not. I don't like that. I like a story build up, some type of story, in a in a movie. Like even like what was it? I know what you did last summer. It like it's a it's a teen horror movie, but it has a story to it and it and it has like a twist. I like those. Um, but just like stabby stabby. Oh, it's all blood. Like they're good with some story to them. But I don't like it. Like, The Hills Have Eyes, the new one, I really didn't like that. Um, the most disturb. I can tell you, uh, the most disturbing movie that's really that you should never watch. It'll make you throw up. Don't eat while watch when you watch it. Um, there was a time when there was something called the Human Centipede, it was popular. I didn't know about this movie until I saw the South Park episode. There was a South Park episode where they made the Human Centipede. And that was also disgusting. So I went and watched, I binge watched the movies. It, it makes me want to throw up right now. Like, there's that disgusting. But at the, I think the beginning of the movie or something, there's a time where the girl gets out. Instead of going to the police, bringing the police to the house of your friend that got murdered, instead of going to the police or leaving, and coming back with help, this is what she does. I'm gonna go try to save him. I'm gonna go save this guy. And then she ends up getting screwed too. <laughs> but um, this isn't even, The Human Centipede is not even the worst movie, like ever. The second movie, there's a third one. Did I see the third one? I think there was a third one being made, but I never saw it. Because I think it never came out. The second one is is the dumbest concept. So, a fan, a fan of the Human Centipede movies. So it's a movie about a guy that wants to make a human centipede himself because he liked the Human Centipede movies and he's really disgusting and disturbing. He wants to make his own human centipede, so he invites. He actually gets the act actress that was in the original centipede movie. And she's a dick to him, so he obviously wants to put her in there. She's the star of the show. And he uses... It's so, it's, it's so worse. They use, like, staple guns and things. And it is disgusting. Hostile is similar, but not as disturbing because you don't have people shitting in other people's mouths. And then it goes through a cycle. That's more disturbing and disgusting than Hostile. Hostile, I actually like the first Hostile movie. Um, the second one, I don't remember. I didn't like it. I didn't like the second one. The third one, there's a third one. <laughs> there's a third Hostel movie. It's in America. I think it's in Las Vegas or something. 
Yeah, I also forget that movie because I didn't like it. I watched it once. Hostel 1, I've seen maybe 10 times. Maybe 10, 5 to 10 times, maybe. Maybe 5 times, maybe 10 times in between there. I watch it every once in a while. It's not... There was a story in it, and it was freaky and, and gruesome. It's not as... A human centipede is like, throw up. You want to throw up. If that's what they were going for, the, then they made it happen, man. Um, it it was a good... I liked the movie. Um, it, I liked the old one when I was a kid. The second one, the second TV series, is terrible. It's, it's, it was terrible when I was a kid. It's terrible now. And the, and the remake is much better. It's, it's, it's not great, but it's like on a scale of how much better it is than the TV series, the second one, it's here. It's so much better. The actors really sucked. And then I think there was a guy with like a mole on his face and the pony. <laughs> he was like one of the main guys and he was terrible. But I will never forget um, the fat boy when he woke, uh, the part with the, uh, when he grew up. And then he kisses uh, the girl that he really likes. And then he just like, kiss me, fat boy. Something like that. Tim Curry is really good in his own way. He's a really good it. Um, I think Bill Skarsgård, Bill Skarsgård, he's also a good it. I think they're both good in their own ways. Uh, Tim Curry is more funny and he's inter he's funny. He's a funny guy. Um, Bill Skarsgård is just kind of like in your face scary. So he's in your face more. Tim Curry's, he's kind of like a uh, little funny. I actually laughed a lot when I was older. When I was older and rewatched the TV series, I actually laughed. I thought it was more funny than scary. But yeah, kiss me, fat boy. I love that. It's so funny. Um, I'll get to your blooping, but we're talking about horror movies, so I'm going to skip it for now. Um, Persona 5 is a really good, okay, I'll get to it now. Persona 5 is really good. Um, and it also, it has a lot of blood in it, too. Um, yeah. VHS, I think I watched that late. Maybe I'd like it when I was younger. It'd be more scary, but I didn't think it was that scary. Um, I saw it one time. Um, kind of reminds me of Resident Evil, I can't, was it, was that the one? There was a movie that reminded me of Resident Evil 7. I can't remember, it might have been VHS. Let me know if it's similar. In a way. Mm. Are there any actors that would make you avoid a movie? Actors. Any actors? I'm trying to think. Let me know your thoughts on that, guys. If there are any actors that you don't like. Um, I think nowadays, maybe Bruce Willis. I loved Bruce Willis. But now he like he used to like I think he used to charge a premium to be in movies, so that's why the Expendables three I think it was didn't have him in it because he wanted a lot of money, and Sylvester Stallone said no, and he wasn't in the movie. And then after that, like he was so greedy, and then no one wanted him in their movies because he wants too much, and now he just does any. There's all these release to DVD, release to DVD. Bruce Willis movies, and they're not good. They're really bad. So now he's like, uh, so him and who's that other guy? Like I, anything old with Bruce Willis in it is good. Like The Fifth Element, one of my favorite movies. Um, I liked Red too. Red was good. That was probably his last good movie. Was like Red Two. That was his, probably his last good movie. Um, what am I, what am I thinking of? Who's the guy that played National Treasure? He plays... He's the same way now. He plays in anything. It goes released to DVD. Released to DVD. His last good movie was... Uh, what was the movie with Hit Girl? Hit Girl. Let me see what you got. Nicolas Cage. Yeah, Nicolas Cage. He's terrible. Uh, the movie with Hit Girl. And he's Daddy. He's Daddy or Big Daddy. I think is his name. Big Daddy. Um... That was the last good movie he was in. The first one. It wasn't... Hit Girl actually got her own movie, I think, right? Or no, she was going to. I think she got too old, maybe, for the role. 
She's a good actor. I, I like her. She's a good actress. I used to have showered the showered of slime said says she or he I don't know I'm not judging uh, used to have the hots for Nicolas Cage I used to like everything Nicolas Cage was in until like he just he was like National Treasure and then I think then everything was crap uh, Gone in sixty seconds that's probably one I think that's my favorite Nicolas Cage movie Gone in sixty seconds. Um, for me, it's Tom Hanks. I avoid all his... I like Tom Hanks. Um, I like The Terminal. That was one of my... I, I don't know why. His movies seem very simplistic, but I loved it when I was a kid. When I was a little kid, I loved his simplicity, and it was different than everything else. Castaway was one of my favorite movies when I was a kid. I was the only one in my family that liked Castaway. But now it's probably stupid. I don't know. I, I haven't watched it in a long time. I probably wouldn't like it. But I like Castaway. Terminal still holds up. I like Terminal. Terminal is such a good movie. It's about a foreigner. I think he's from Kazakhstan or something. And he does a better accent. I think he or he's from another country. But the the Borat guy, I didn't know that he was supposedly Borat guy. I, I don't like his movie. I didn't like that movie. Uh, supposedly he was from Kazakhstan. It's like, what? How are you from Kazakhstan? I have Kazakhstan uh, Nian, I guess is what you call it. Students, they don't sound like that. That's a really race. You think that they would not like that accent. Uh, the Borat guy. He's not good. I, I that's, a, that's a guy I'd probably avoid his movies. I don't think he's funny. Um, you said actors that you would avoid watching a movie because they're in it. Yeah. Hey, Papa Jakin. Jakin? Jakin? Hey. Hey there. Shower of Slime said, I love Human Centipede. I watched it one time because I I wanted to know what the hype was about. I didn't know they were so popular, uh, the first one. There was a third movie, but I don't know. What we'll to see. No, I'm not going to look at that at school. I'm going to be like, they'll come in and they'll be like, what are you looking up? <laughs> um, hey, well, hello there, Beatrice. Hi. So let's see here. Hostel reminded me. Hostel, but the thing with Hostel is you don't have people shitting in other people's mouths. And yeah, that's the difference. It's not, it's a little different. Um, it's just, a, Hostel is about, okay, no one's, no one's, no one's even in the room next to me. Okay, so Hostel is about basically people on the black, People buying body parts on the black market, and if you're American, then they want. Or no, is the first one? No, it's not about. No, that's where the concept came from. I think or something. It's about paying all oh, rich people paying people. I think it came from that concept or something. Rich people paying to kill people. That's what it is. And Americans are worth the most for some reason because they want to kill Americans. Uh, something like that, but it, it, uh, it's a little different than the other humans. <laughs> Even the concepts different. The alien movies, I've seen them. I don't remember them at all. I saw them when I was younger. I think the first one was good, but I don't remember. Um, I like the AVP series. I like AVP one. That's a really good movie. Uh, second one. I think that was not so good. I didn't like the second one. The game was fun. AVP the game. I have that on my channel. It's in like 240p. It, it's a fun game. Um, because that was back in a long time ago before I had HD capture. Um, greetings from France. Oh yeah, Beatrice. Yeah, welcome France. Hello. Hmm. Any other comments? Now, this has been going on for a long time. I wasn't expecting to go on this long. I lost track of al all alien related movies that I have watched, have to watch. Other people explain it to me. I lost track of all alien related movies that I have watched. Other people explain it to me. My brain is slower than uh, now. <laughs> what? 
Uh, yeah, the Alien movies, I actually liked uh, Prometheus was not bad. The problem with Prometheus is they kind of like butchered it in the new movie. What was it called? Let me see. Hmm. Pro Alien Prometheus series. Oh, my phone's at 15%, so that means we're soon done here. Alien Isolation? What is that? Is that a movie? Or is that the video game? So you got... What was the new movie called? There's way too many of them. The new movie was Alien Covenant. That movie is terrible. Like, it started off really good. Covenant was really good. I liked... How it started off, but they pretty much killed off everything that they started with Prometheus. They kind of killed it off and made it like Prometheus. They made it like it was a waste of time. You should have never watched Prometheus because we're just going to screw it over in the Alien Covenant. Like, I don't know. Uh, see, there are met too many. Yeah, there are too many. I think I don't think I've seen a fourth one. Maybe on TV. Apparently there was a fourth one. Yeah, they they screwed the whole timeline with that. And same with Terminator. I heard that they screwed over. So you have Terminator 1, 2, 3, and then after 3 was the one I liked. I liked the one with Christian Bale. But a lot of people didn't like it because I think it kind of went... I don't know. I don't know why people didn't like it. They didn't like the one with Christian Bale. I liked that Terminator movie. Um, and then they did another one, which was terrible. That was like the worst trash I've ever seen. Um, and then they made the new one where I heard, I think I know what happens. Someone said that there's going to, there's spoilers and stuff. And they said something big happens that shouldn't have happened. And I just, I kind of can tell what probably happened. But they, I think they, it's a, like a sequel to the second one or the first one. And they kind of like kill, so they killed, they destroyed the third one and all the other ones. They just destroyed the timeline. It's like, stop doing that. Just, they shouldn't even make it anymore. It was fine with where it ended at. Um, you don't need to keep bringing back the same people and doing it. Just, End the series. No more. We don't need any more Terminator movies. Alien. If Disney decides to do an Alien movie, maybe it'll be good. You know? Fox has really screwed the Alien series. What would you say here? There were movies I watched that I didn't even know they were related to the Alien story. Are you talking about Prometheus? Yeah. I didn't know too until like the end of the movie. I didn't know that was an Alien movie until like the end of it. I was like, whoa. Um, found flicks saved my life. Who's found flicks? Is that a YouTuber? And just to let you know, this stream could end at any time because my phone is at 10%. So we're going to go until it dies. Hmm. <clears throat> yeah, YouTuber that explains movies. Okay. I like to watch uh, Angry Joe, but I don't. I wish he would cut back on the movie stuff. I like his. Uh, I like Angry Joe's angry video game reviews. Sometimes his movie reviews aren't so good. I wish he would just only do video game stuff, but he likes doing the movie stuff. It's probably because the movie stuff. There are there's enough people that want to watch that on his channel. And it's probably easier because he just explains his opinion. There's no special editing. There's probably some times where they have to cut. No, I don't know if they cut things out. But it's not bad. I I think it's not bad, but there are a lot of movies that he does that I already watched someone else explain in like five minutes. His movie, his movie reviews are like 30 minutes to an hour long. It's too much. I like uh, Jeremy John's. Because he doesn't spoil things, and Jeremy John's, usually his opinions are similar to mine. So that's why I like Jeremy John's. 
And he usually gets them out first out of the people that I uh, follow. But yeah, there was a YouTuber that used to do Game of Thrones. He used to explain everything. And because he read all the books, he knows everything about Game of Thrones. I think it was called Talk, Talk of Thrones or Talking Thrones, something like that. He was actually not a bad guy, but Game of Thrones is over now. It kind of pissed me off. And I think I think that now, like, I, I, I stopped following him because what else is he going to do? The other stuff was not entertaining to me. I only liked his Game of Thrones talks. But then, like, I liked his predictions, too. And his predictions were actually sometimes better than what actually happened. So... Since we're at two people, um, we're going to end it here. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up, comment below, and subscribe. My phone's dying. Thank you again to who is the only... There's one guy that did a super chat. Um, go to the top here. It doesn't show me. Wow, thank you, YouTube. You don't even show the, the super super chat. You don't show the... You don't show it. How am I supposed to see the messages? Okay, so... Thank you for the super chat, and thank you guys for watching. Don't forget, thumbs up, comment below, and subscribe. Next week, we will talk about the top uh, five PlayAsia games if they release it. Um, as long as they keep releasing new uh, videos, I'll keep uh, looking over the PlayAsia top five. And also, comment down below if you want any more live streams and talking like things like this. We did a top 40 games of 2020 in this one. Thank you guys for watching. See ya.